Jesus as the servant, messenger, and prophet of God. When we ask our Christian friends about Jesus Christ and his status in Christianity, some of them say that he is God, others say that he is the Son of God. If you express astonishment, other Christians may reconcile such two desperate answers by arguing that Jesus is both God and the Son of God at the same time. If Jesus is God or the Son of God, this entails that he is either God or part of God. However, this contradicts the verses of the New Testament itself which quote Jesus as saying that he has God. Describing the crucifixion scene, the New Testament says, At about three, Jesus cried out with a loud shout, Eli, Eli, lama sabbatachni, which means, My God, my God, why have you left me? Matthew 27, 46. About Jesus' appearance after his alleged crucifixion, the New Testament quotes Jesus as saying, Don't hold on to me, for I haven't yet gone up to my father. Go to my brothers and sisters and tell them I'm going up to my father and your father, to my God and your God. John 2017. Those biblical verses agree with their Quranic counterpart, which quote Jesus as saying that he has Lord. We read, They have certainly disbelieved who say Allah is the Messiah, the son of Mary, while the Messiah has said, O children of Israel, worship God, my Lord, and your Lord. Indeed, he who associates others with Allah, Allah has forbidden him paradise, and his refuge is the fire. And there are not for the wrongdoers any helpers. Al Ma'idah 572. How can Jesus be God though he declared that he had God and Lord in the Bible and the Quran, did not claim that he was God or Lord, had the right to or require worship, or indicate how to perform this worship? Jesus' servitude is proven by the verses of both the Bible and the Quran. About Jesus' servitude, the Bible says, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our ancestors, has glorified his servant Jesus. This is the one you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence, even though he had already decided to release him. Acts 3.13 The Quran quotes Jesus as saying in the cradle that he is the servant and prophet of God. In the Quran we read, Jesus said, Indeed, I am the servant of Allah. He has given me the scripture and made me a prophet. Miriam 1930. Jesus' prophethood is proven by the Bible which relates, When he came to his hometown, he taught the people in their synagogue. They were surprised and said, Where did he get this wisdom? Where did he get the power to work miracles? Isn't he the carpenter's son? Isn't his mother named Mary? Aren't James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas his brothers? And his sisters, aren't they here with us? Where did this man get all this? They were repulsed by him and fell into sin. But Jesus said to them, Prophets are honored everywhere except in their own hometowns and in their own households. Matthew 13, 54 through 57. The Bible also quotes Zacharias as addressing Jesus while in the cradle as the prophet of the Most High. We read, You, child, will be called a prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. Luke 1.76 Jesus' message as a messenger of God is proven by the verses of the Quran. The Quran says, O people of the scripture, do not commit excess in your religion or say about Allah except the truth. The Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, was but a messenger of God, and his word which he directed to Mary and a soul created at a command from him. So believe in Allah and in his messengers, and do not say three, desist, it is better for you. Indeed, Allah is but one God. Exalted is he above having a son. To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth. And sufficient is Allah as a disposer of affairs. And Nisa 4.171 The verses of the Bible agree with those of the Quran on Jesus' message as a messenger of God. The New Testament says, So then, my brothers and holiness who share the highest of all callings, I want you to think of the messenger and high priest of the faith we hold, Christ Jesus. See him as faithful to the charge God gave him and compare him with Moses, who also faithfully discharged his duty in the household of God. Hebrews 3, 1 through 2. Thus, Jesus Christ can be neither God nor the Son of God. He is rather the servant, prophet, and messenger of God according to the verses of both the Bible and the Quran.